Good morning, good morning. What's happening, fam? It's your boy E back again. You know, I need to stop saying back again. We see you making a video, so we know you back. Duh, you back. See, that's what happens when you look at other YouTubers and you try to copy off them, man. Because I think everybody say that. Uh, I'm actually off today, but since I got the store key, I got to open up the store for everybody else. So I still got to get up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Give me a second, I got to go clock in and y'all can't follow me. So on my days off like this, even though I don't technically have to do any work, I still like to show up early, you know, clock in and get them extra hours. And I kind of like to help my coworkers out by completing some of the morning tasks that we have to do. So that's what I'm about to do right now. After they leave, I actually have a dentist appointment to get my teeth cleaned at 9 a.m. So I'm happy about that. And anybody that ever tried to make a dentist appointment knows good and well you got to wait like two or three months just to get an appointment, man. So I'm happy that I was able to get an appointment. And uh, I actually called and set this appointment up um, at the beginning of January. And it's March. I'm interviewing. <laughs> I'm interviewing you, man. You're not interviewing, you can ask me a question. I'm about to ask you a question right now. I go for it, I'm listening. So, how does it feel working for Satira, man? Uh, uh, I should know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a job. I mean, I get paid to do a job, so. So you get paid to sell drugs? I get paid to legally sell drugs. To right? legally sell drugs, so you're a drug dealer now. I'm a legal drug dealer, yes. You fit the stereotype, you know that, right? I know. I'm <laughs> When they see me, they're like, okay, I see why he got this job. <laughs> see, what they're trying to do is they're trying to um, decriminalize what the criminal actually looks like. So it's Ooh, like reverse. It's like okay. I like that. So okay. It's like, oh, we're going to spin it and put him in a different light. And there so you go. Drug don't look as bad. You know? Boom. That's me. I like that. I'm keeping that. You guys have a good day and don't talk to strangers. I don't know what I'm about to do. I don't want to go get anything to eat until after I get my teeth clean because I want my teeth to be perfect when I get there. So I'm like, oh, we ain't got much to do. You have beautiful teeth. I'm like, yeah, I know, you know. But anyway, so, hmm, what time is it actually? Let me see. It's 719. Hmm. I think I may go to Panera Bread and get a little bit of studying done. And then I'll probably leave to head to the dentist around like 820 or something like that. But anyways, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> You said this is the x-rays I'm doing? Yes. Okay. Alright, so uh, did you have any dental concerns since your last visit? Uh, no. No? Okay. You got your wisdom teeth in there? Yes. Alright. Any reason we hold on to them? Yeah, I don't see a need to take them out. No, it's not giving me any problems. Okay. Should we put me just a little bit? Any close? Yeah, 
if you got enough room for the wisdom teeth, then they are not a problem. Right. One quick question. I can't eat directly after a teeth cleaning, can I? Yeah, you can. Okay. If you didn't have fluoride, you can eat. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Have All right, day. you too. Woo, woo! I feel like a new man. You know, I just want to smile. I was going to record the uh, teeth cleaning, but the dental hygienist said she wasn't cute today. So I couldn't record it. She didn't feel comfortable being on camera. But hey, boy, you see your boy with the ding. I don't want to ding. I don't want to ding. I don't want to smile. You feel me? I'm going to just smile all day today. Now, not a, let me look in the mirror at this. Uh, oh, boy, them teeth looking good, boy. Ooh, hey, they pearly white for real, for real. Hey, y'all better get y'all teeth cleaned. Ooh, hey, hey, I ain't got nothing to say, but hey, hey, <laughs> I feel like a new man for real. Ooh. I'm gonna just look at the camera and smile. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm just gonna smile. <laughs> hey, let me get out of here, man. Hey, y'all, y'all play too much. Y'all really do. <laughs> so I just went to Smoothie King, getting me a smoothie. I got a um, Gladiator chocolate flavor with peanut butter and banana. And so the reason I got a smoothie is because, as y'all know, I just got finished getting my teeth clean, and I pretty much want to give my gums a break, give them some time to heal up, because the dental hygienist lady that I had, she uh, she had a shaky hand, man, and she pretty much poked the hell out of my gums. It was bleeding. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, couldn't they get a lady in here with a steel hand? Like, the lady hand was shaking like a stripper, like, just... Sorry, darling. I'm like, Lord, have mercy, see lady. Now, what you're not gonna do is you ain't finna just keep poking me in my gums when you're supposed to be cleaning my teeth. Now, all that poking you doing, you poke me one more time, get up out this chair, and me and you gonna go toe to toe. That's what we gonna do. Keep poking me. Shoot, talking about some. If I hurt you or you know something feels uncomfortable, raise your left hand. Like, okay. Two minutes into the teeth cleaning, I had my left hand raised the entire time. She's like, oh, you have a question? I'm like, uh, yeah, my question is, why the hell are you still working here? When is you going to retire? Shaking behind hand, you got, when is you going to retire? Because obviously, you can't do your job right the way you shaking. Talk about some dough, I got a question. You said, raise my hand if it hurt or something feels uncomfortable. And... The entire time you've been poking my, my darn gums when you're supposed to be doing my teeth. So, of course, I'm going to keep my hand up the whole time because my entire experience here was painful. Ever since you stepped into this room. Now, I'm actually about to head to the gym. And uh, pretty much, I'm going to talk about how to build up that chest. You know, um, a lot of people complain about, you know, having a small chest and... I'm going to let y'all in on some secrets. They're not really secrets, but for whatever reason, people don't know. So, y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to get this chest workout on and popping. On and popping. Yo, what's going on, man? So, we in the gymnasium about to make some gains, man. And right now, man, I'm just stretching out my lats and I'm warming up my shoulders, getting them ready for this chest in this shoulder workout man as y'all know i've been suffering from a shoulder injury so i'm just trying to make sure that i warm these shoulders up just right and stretch my shoulders out so i can increase this mobility and i can get back to my power lift, man because i ain't gonna lie i kind of miss it man i really do so the first exercise in this chest routine is this flat chest press here 
And one of the main reasons why I like this machine here is because as you see when I come up, the handles come closer together. So that's going to give my chest a better contraction than I normally would on a flat bench press. As y'all know, I've been leaving a flat bench press alone due to a shoulder injury. And I can't go as heavy on flat bench. So I decided to replace that with some machine presses like this one here, man. It's been really been helping out my shoulder. Um, it may not necessarily keep my strength gains when it comes to the flat bench press. But we'll definitely make some chest gains off that, man. And so right now I superset it my entire chest workout with a shoulder workout as well. So as y'all see, um, I'm doing some side laterals, some front raises, some real delts, some shrugs. I'm gonna do it all, man, to work these shoulders. I can't do any military presses only because you know my shoulder kind of messed up. So I'm sticking to my my side laterals and my front raises and things of that nature, man. But let's go ahead and get into the secret. To developing the perfect chest man if you really want to develop a perfect chest have that big old pecs that make girls want to lay down for sex what you need to do is you got to work all areas of the chest you got to work your upper pecs you got to work the mid pecs and you got to work your lower pecs man that's what people are lacking when it comes to working a chest man they don't hit their chest from all angles which really takes away from the development of your chest. So if you really want that 3D looking chest, that 3D action, have it popping out, you know what I'm saying, when you got on a shirt, and when you take your shirt off, it just look all defined and 3D looking and, and popping out at you, you gotta hit all areas of the chest. So as you can see, after I got finished with my, my flat chest flies, I did four sets of all these movements, and on my fourth set, um, I did a drop down set so as you see right here I'm showing you my fourth set on my incline chest presses I started out with uh, 90 90 pound dumbbells then I went to 70 uh, 70 pound dumbbells and then I went to 50 pound dumbbells man and I pretty much did it for as many reps as my shoulder would allow me to do I mean I'm pretty sure I could have pressed out some more reps but like I said you know I'm suffering from a shoulder injury so I really don't want to overdo it for my shoulder man but yeah, man, like I said, man, the secret to having a nice developed chest is hitting your chest from all angles, man. If you're not hitting your chest from all angles, you're really doing your chest an injustice, man. I'm trying to tell you right now, man, you got to hit it from all angles. Flat, incline, decline, chest flies, all that. And this machine right here is normally used for uh, working your triceps. It's a dip machine. But as you can see, I'm standing up and I'm close to it and I'm pressing down. At that angle, it's hitting the lower part of my pecs. And if you give this exercise a try, I guarantee you guys will really love this for the lower part of your pecs, man. You can really feel it. Like when you push down and squeeze, squeeze hard now. And I guarantee you'll feel the lower part of your uh, pecs contracting, man. It's, it's a really great exercise for contracting the lower part of your pecs. And as you can see, I supersetted that with some shoulder shrugs to work them trap. You feel me? And this chest fly machine here, if you can see the way I'm gripping the handlebars, I'm gripping low on the handlebars, and my hands are coming across my chest at the lower part of my pecs because I'm trying to work the lower part of my pecs by holding the bars low and squeezing at the bottom. And now you see me, I, I, I move my hands higher up on the bar. And when my chest comes across, I mean, when my hands come across my chest, you can see that it's it's higher up around my chin area. And again, I did as many reps as I could, and I did four sets on this exercise as well. And you want to make sure again, you hit the lower part of your pecs and you hit the upper part of your pecs. And I finished off my entire routine with a little bit of tricep work. I did four sets of eight reps on close grip bench press with 225 pounds. It's not real heavy, you know, again, my shoulder is, is kind of messed up and I don't want to go too heavy to injure it, but it was just enough to give me the good contraction, give me the good pump, and I supersetted that with some uh, lion tricep extensions with the dumbbell work, man. So pretty much, man, that was my entire routine. I hope y'all learned something from it. Um, again, I'm going to reiterate, hit the chest from all angles if you want that 3D action. If you want your chest to grow, 
And I guarantee you do that for about three months, especially when you start to increase the weight every week, man, you're going to make all kinds. And I mean all kinds of things. Alright man, so the workout is over with. I'm hungry. So I'm about to go inside this house and make some gains. That's where the real gains happen in the kitchen. Not in the gym, but in the kitchen. But anyways, man, I hope y'all learned something, man. And if y'all did, put a thumbs up on the video or write a comment, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man, because the more subscribers I get, the more motivated I am to keep making videos. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.